Well, guys, uh, good to have you guys here. Talk about just, you know, you guys are a, ro a rodeo family. Your dad started six of the seven brothers rodeoing. That's just been a part of life for you. If you really think about just how cool that is, you know, being a whole family involved in this sport of rodeo. I mean, was it, I mean, was it just, was it pushed on you young? I mean, you know, was it like, we really don't have a choice, or was it was it ever really like pushed on you guys, you know, from family or anything? No, he just said do whatever you want to do. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. Uh huh. Right. He didn't make us do it. He pushed us hard. He didn't do it. Uh huh. You know, what's it like pretty much in a lot of the rodeos you go out? There's, you know, four or five of you guys out there, family doing it. Is that is that special? Or once you're competing, do you? it's hard to really, you got to focus on what you need to do and not focus on everyone else. Or how, how do you guys kind of balance that? You guys travel all together to his families, or do you guys have different traveling partners, or does it kind of vary on rodeo to rodeo and year to year and stuff like that? Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. Gotcha. Does so it sometimes? I mean, being around each other as as brothers, you know, does that does that get old sometimes? Where you could be nice to maybe get away just to you know unwind a little bit or is that is, is it even brought you guys even closer together as brothers and as, as family really and it seems like another another generation of rights I understand what one of your nephews was the high school uh, champion this year, is that right? And, and yet a right, and then another one, another nephew was a junior high bull champion. So how many more rights are coming up in the rodeo? How many? I mean, we have a, what six now. How many more are coming up? We're going to see an awful lot more of the Wright family. It sounds like. Oh, okay. Right. How neat would it be if there's three, four, maybe five of you guys at the at the national finals uh, this year down the road? How how special would that be? I mean, sure, it's special anytime you're all together rodeoing, but to get there at the at the, at the biggest stage, how neat would that be? It's happening right now. So right, because right, if you're on pace for what three at least right now, aren't you? And good chance, and a shot at four. Right. Right. Now, what's the most that uh, that you've been at the? I mean, how many of you guys been at the NFR at once at the, at one time? Two, three, what? Just two right now. As us? No, as as a family. Right. Well, how about for you guys for the right family? Just two so far. So I understand Cody broke his foot in Salinas. How's he? Do, you know, how's he doing? Have you heard much? Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, good. Okay. And you got a broken foot too. It looks yeah, like. Same bone, same rodeos, everything. We went to the same doctor at the same time. Kept hobbling out there on the bench. This is. Yeah. This isn't a different. This isn't a pattern we're going to start seeing now, is it? <laughs> All right, guys. That's perfect.